Hi guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Uh, my name's Satch at Diagnostic World. Um, what I really want to talk about today is a problem that uh, a lot of people seem to be having. Um, and I think it's due to a little bit of um, sort of miseducation about how diagnostic tools work. Um, we get a lot of people saying that um, they've bought diagnostic tools in the past, they have tried to reset the warning lights, and um, although it appears that the warning light has been reset from the, uh, the diagnostic tool, the actual warning light itself keeps coming back. Um, um, you might get a message on the screen on your diagnostic tool to say that the warning, or say the, um, the message to say that the fault code has actually been erased, uh, when in fact the light is still on. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. We're going to use a, a, a BMW Mini Cooper here uh, that we're going to do a short demonstration with. Uh, now what we've done is, um, as you can see on the dashboard here, we've actually got the airbag light illuminated on this car. Now we've done that purposely, we've automatically triggered an airbag light and then what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you what I mean. So basically, this is the iCarsoft i910 kit uh, which is available at Diagnostic World. Just click the link below this video. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to diagnose. So this is exactly what customers or clients uh, or anybody else with a diagnostic tool will do. So click into your vehicle, you click into mini and we'll click into the body section and we want to diagnose the airbag. So here it is, SRS, Supplemental Restraint System. Alright, so we'll go in and we read trouble code. So it's giving us trouble code in the airbag section, so it's 02 belt tensioner driver. Right, so uh, you've got your diagnostic tool, you've got your your airbag light on. What the obvious thing to do is to come out of this, click on erase trouble code. Now this is what a lot of people are doing. This is what I'm talking about. Erase trouble code. So we've got on screen here fault code is erased. The airbag light is actually flashing on this car. Well, it's flashed, but then it came back on. So you can see where the conflict in information is. The airbag light is on, but it's telling us fault code is erased. Uh, now this is basically, um, the, the ethics of diagnostics is not to try and, uh, or not to actually trick the system. Um, there is no tool on the planet that will allow you to actually reset a warning light if the fault still persists. So that's basically what a lot of people think these tools are doing. They'll think you can um, just simply erase a warning light, even though the fault is there, just to maybe get it through an MOT or its annual test. Um, and then they'll think, right, well, I'll just deal with the problem later. That's not the case. It doesn't work like that. You, you must physically fix an issue to actually remove a dashboard warning light and to actually erase the trouble code. What we can do is here, we can go on the tool, we can go back into read codes, and there you go, you see the fault has come straight back up there. O2 belt tensioner driver. Um, now what I'll do is, I'm just going to, because it was a connection underneath the seat that we unclipped, uh, and I'll just re-clip this back together. So this is an, as an example of actually fixing the fault, so we've physically repaired the connection there, if you like. And now what I'll do, come out of this, click on to erase trouble code and then just keep an eye on the airbag light. It's flashing there. Depending on your vehicle, um, this is a, this vehicle it flashes for 30 seconds or so until the, um, the ECU is happy that the airbag system has been fixed. Um, so we've got fault coders cleared on the screen here. We'll just come out of this and we'll just wait for the airbag light to stop flashing. Once it stops flashing and stays off it means the airbag system is clear. And there we go. Airbag light is off and just to double check what we'll do is we'll turn the engine off because we have got the engine on. So we'll just turn that off, start the engine again. And there you can see the airbag light has stayed off fully. So I'm hoping that this basically asks, uh, sorry, answers a few questions. It, uh, it's applicable on this car here, we used an airbag light as an example. 
However, the ABS system is the same, the traction system, your, uh, your ESP, your APS, any of those systems, your check engine light, your service engine soon, um, those type of warnings, they're all, they're all the same. You need to physically fix a fault before you can actually reset the warning light. It might not, in this case, the airbag light came back on straight away. Uh, in your case, that might not happen. It might come back on, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 miles down the road. It might come back on in two weeks time, depending on how often you drive the car. Uh, but rest assured, if the fox, the, the, the fox, if the fault has not actually been fixed, the warning light will come back on and it's basically the vehicle's way of telling you that the fault is still present needs to be fixed before the light can be turned off um, so as I say I hope this information has helped you I hope it has um, given you a little bit of, a bit more peace of mind about the actual diagnostic tool that you have uh, and that it will serve its purpose you just need to use it in the correct way a lot of the time the diagnostic tool it's used sort of at the, at the the start of a process and at the end of a process so at the start of the process you get your diagnostic tool you use it to diagnose the warning light the middle part is it's basically up to you you need to then take the relevant action so you need to either repair wiring harnesses you need to replace a sensor put a new part in and then the end process is you coming back with your diagnostic tool resetting the trouble codes which should then turn off the warning light so if you are interested in any diagnostic tools or if you need any help with the a current warning light that you have got um, just visit us at the website it's www.diagnostic-world.com uh, if you are coming to us with an actual issue that you have if you've uh, tried to reset a code but it won't turn off what we need to see is we need to see the light which you have on your dashboard we need to see the actual fault from your diagnostic tool and then we can try and advise you further and try and help you out a bit further but we need to see images we need to see screenshots of the fault on screen and the warning light that you have on the dashboard uh, so as I say it's diagnostic world www.diagnostic-world.com or you can click the link directly below this video and I hope this video has helped you thanks for watching